Hey guys, welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to show you how to play One by Ed Sheeran. Uh, I just heard this song uh, today, and I really liked it, and thought it showed some, some great finger style and percussive techniques. So I'll show you right now what you'll be able to play by the end. I'll show you that little riff at the beginning. Uh, and then we'll get started with that finger picking stuff. Next section goes like this. And the chorus. And then he starts doing the percussive slapping stuff uh, halfway through, and that sounds like this. Okay, and so I'll show that, also show uh, what's going on uh, in the bridge as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, we are in dadgad tuning. So this is an altered tuning. If I took off the capo, I'd be in dadgad, so it's D, A, D, G, A, D. But uh, if I have the capo on, you can tune the strings and it should be uh, E, B, E, A, B, E. I hope I got that right. <laughs> but. So uh, your tuning, basically strings uh, three and four uh, stay the same. The rest of the strings, uh, one, two, five, and six, you tune down a full step. Okay, so. And uh, I wasn't sure at first uh, what the tuning was. I knew at first that this was, the sixth string was definitely tuned down. Um, but as, as he started playing, I, I kind of was like, yeah, that's, that's dad gad. I, I could hear it, and especially at the end when he plays that last strum, you can really tell it's, it's an open tuning that he's in. So, all right, let's get started. That riff he's doing at the beginning, uh, you can play with your thumb on the sixth string, and maybe uh, play uh, strings uh, two, three, and four together, but uh, put your index finger maybe on the 11th fret. I'm, I'm naming the actual fret of the guitar, not relative to the capo, but actually on the 11th fret of the second string. So it is a little like, kind of like a hammer on and a pull off, so you hammer on. And then you pull off. If you uh, touch the first string with your index finger lightly, it'll be muted, so you won't hit it when you do that pull off. And then it just slides down uh, from the 11th fret to the uh, 9th fret to the 7th fret. And then he does a uh, hammer on, and then a slide. I think after that from the 9th fret to the 11th fret. Then you kind of doing this thing from the video that I saw, just saw it today. Um, then he, he took a deep breath, very focused in the song, and he starts doing the... So uh, what we really have to get is that rhythm. That's going to be the tricky part, um, is the rhythm. Once you get kind of get the rhythm and the groove, um, it's, it really kind of falls in place. It's not too bad after that. But the rhythm, what I kind of do is I like to count. Uh, and I go like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you count to 6, then you count to 6 again. Then you count to 4. You count to 6, you count to 6, you count to 4. And if you do that, then every time on the 1, that's when you hit your thumb on the 6 string. So to try to make sense of that, one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four. So sometimes putting numbers sometimes it can confuse things a little bit more. Um, it's a lot of times just like a feeling uh, sort sort of thing. But if if you're having trouble with that, then using numbers is the only way. So if you want to count with me. One two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four. When you speed that up a little bit, 
then uh, it gets a little bit easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Well, it's harder to say it, but it's easier to play it. And then um, what I'm doing uh, between the thumb is I'm just alternating with my thumb on the open uh, fourth string, and then I have my middle finger on the 13th fret of the third string. So I'm just alternating back and forth, thumb and index finger. For every single beat, um, every single count, except when I'm hitting that one. So whenever I hit that one that I was talking about, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. When I'm not doing that, I'm doing this. One two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four. And that's kind of what he's doing, basically. Except uh, when he plays, he's really kind of accenting the bass, and you can barely hear. Sometimes you can barely hear what's going on up here. It's very, very subtle. So if you've got that rhythm down, the rest of this is going to be a piece of cake. So in the beginning, so some new chords, so we're staying, we start here, and then we go, uh, I'm going to name these chords, uh, basically we'll have two fingers, and I'm going to say the sixth string followed by the third string. So they all involve the sixth string and the third string, holding a finger there. But starting on the sixth string, it's the ninth fret, and then the eighth fret on the third string. So. So we start here, what you, and whatever fi finger finger you want to use, you can choose really, whatever feels comfortable. So we go from the first chord, 13th fret, just that uh, whatever finger you want on the 13th fret of the third string, to uh, 9 and 8. Remember, 6th string, 3rd string, always going to be the 6th string and the 3rd string. And then up to 11 and 9. Okay, and then it's going to go down to uh, 7 and 6. And then back to home base here. So, And the rhythm that that, that does is... Section two. And section three. No, I'm just kidding. I'll tell you what that was. <laughs> so we are on nine and eight. And then we go, we just slide that shape down two frets two, two, <laughs> to uh, seven and six. And then we're going to go down to just the, the second fret of the sixth string. If you strum all the strings, you get some cool open sounding chords, but he doesn't do that yet. So, um, so yeah, so it's going to be, the rhythm is kind of sort of like... So, uh, you do a full like one, two, three, one... I don't know if I can do the counting and playing at the same time. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two three four. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two three four. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two three four. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. So it, it switches faster going up than when we went down. So if you pay attention, it, you move faster on the way back up. So this part starts a little bit slower. Now we're in the chorus, which just goes start here again. It might be good to have your middle finger uh, using it here so that you can put your index finger. We're going to be putting it on the 13th fret of the 6th string. And we're going to leave our, our middle finger there. You can use other f fingerings, whatever feels, feels good to you. So 
this is uh, 11 and 9. So I went from 11 to 9, down to 9 and 8, and then two scoots down to uh, 7 and 6, and then went back up to 9 and 8. So the whole section. Now we're going to start slapping. So the slapping, uh, it's the same rhythm, uh, but now you've got this it's sort of a complex motion. I've, I've done a couple tutorials on this before, but what it is, it's the slap with the thumb against usually the fifth or sixth string, but at the same time you're flicking out your index finger. So it's a slap and a flick at the same time. Okay, so what you get, if, if I'm just muting the strings, you should just hear. If I'm not, you're going to hear something loud. Okay, but then that's the tricky part is that, um, like, we'll start just with that basic chord. It's very subtle. Actually, when I flick my finger, I'm barely flicking it. Like, if you look at it, you don't see it extend all the way. If it extends all the way, I'd hit all the strings. But I really just want to hit maybe string four uh, and three. But the, the cool thing about the flick is that you can slap and hear a note at the same time. It's not just you hear that. So it keeps the notes playing. It doesn't just cut off. But it's the same concepts, doing the same. Maybe you can start playing the bass more. Not just doing on the one two and four. It's, it's really just experimenting and, and feeling it. Um, there's no strict, you play these strings only. It's just playing around. You can even use your, uh, start using, since you're just using these two fingers the whole time, you can use your ring finger and your middle finger. Just, and, and you know, just experiment, see what you like. Um, I personally don't like just doing these two fingers. I, I think it's kind of uncomfortable. So I'll throw in my middle and, and uh, ring finger. But it's the same thing. All right. The chorus. goes into the bridge. I did skip that little pre-chorus section where it goes on. And then into the chorus. I skip I skip going over that. But it's the same pattern we've already done just with the slapping. So when we go into the bridge, um, uh, we're doing the chorus. We go when we start the the bridge there we go back we're going before we went back up here this time we just go back here to seven and six and it goes Okay, so let's go through that. <laughs> so we're at s seven and six, and then we're gonna go up, uh, just open. I, I think I just move my index finger up to the ninth fret. So you got, and then after that, you're gonna go to uh, nine and eight, and then you're gonna go up to 11 and nine. So the first time it's, Repeat. It's almost the exact. It starts the same way. Except you're gonna stay on this third chord. 
doesn't go back up to here, it just stays here. And it's just going 11, 9, 7. And then it quiets down and uh, stuff we've already played. And then you can just end with a strum. On the 13th fret like we've been doing or down on the 2nd fret. Or the 9th fret. But there you go. That is the song, One, by Ed Sheeran. I hope uh, you guys found this tutorial helpful. I hope you learned uh, a thing or two. Uh, once you kind of can do some of this percussive guitar playing, it really opens up uh, what you can do with the guitar. And you can really um, kind of sound, make it sound more full. Uh, kind of get that percussive and bass and, and melody and, and lots of cool things going on. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested, I have a ton of other tutorials. I, I have a tutorial for um, uh, Icy Fire uh, that's been pretty popular. And um, I have a lot of original music uh, that I've written that's uh, instrumental guitar stuff with this slapping percussive thing. Uh, actually, we'll be releasing an album this summer. So if you'd like to subscribe and, and stick around and check out some more of my stuff, uh, I'd really appreciate it. And until then, take care. Thanks, guys.